Hey, welcome to another RASCAS. We are going to learn how to classify chemical reactions. Now that you know how to write chemical equations from word equations, and uh, now that you know how to balance. Ready? Here we go. There are five types of chemical reactions that you must remember. Combination reactions, decomposition reactions, displacement reactions, also called single displacement reactions or single replacement reactions, double replacement, uh, and combustion reactions. We will work through each one of them, and by the time we finish this podcast, you will know how to um, identify them. And we will have plenty of practice in the classroom. Combination reactions are also known as synthesis reactions. Also known as synthesis. Well, that's a little lopsided there, but it won't let me write off the screen. Synthesis. All right, uh, this is where we have two or more reactants forming one product. So here it's represented by one blue circle, red circle, and then they come together. Here's an example. Sodium plus chlorine gas heals sodium chloride. Notice that this can be also represented by a the blue circle plus B, the second reactant, yields A, B. Note that it's um, a single reactant plus a, another reactant forms one product only. Another example of this type of reaction might be um, mercury plus oxygen yields mercury oxide. Notice I'm not going to balance at this point in order to save time. Uh, but here we go. It's two reactants forming one product. Um, we can also have, uh, you have already done this reaction, magnesium plus oxygen yields magnesium oxide. And it doesn't have to be that combination. It could also be iron plus sulfur yields iron sulfide. Okay, These reactions are not balanced at this point, uh, but uh, we will learn how to, um, after you write them, we will go back and uh, practice. Uh, all right, so the next type of reaction is a decomposition reaction. And decomposition reaction is exactly the reverse of a combination reaction or a composition reaction. Here we start out with um, only one reactant and we can say it's AB yields A plus B. And we can end up with two products. So one, one reactant uh, yields two products. Uh, represented here by the uh, little circles. Calcium carbonate breaks up or decomposes into CaO plus CO2. Notice two products are produced from only one reactant. Uh, another example might be uh, hydrogen or excuse me uh, water um, with uh, electrolysis called electrolysis where it's broken down into H2 plus O2. Uh, or we could have a, um, a reaction such as um, hydrogen peroxide decomposes into water plus oxygen. 
and we will uh, actually do some of these reactions, particularly we're going to do this one in the classroom um, tomorrow, and you will see how this uh, actually happens. Okay, the next type of reaction is a single displacement reaction or single replacement reaction. Uh, this is where um, there's um, uh, oh, spelling error. Whoops, stealing A should be an A right here. Um, let's see if I can fix it. Whoops. Uh, yep, that's what we want to do. Stealing should be an A right here. Stealing someone's date. Now you won't forget because this is supposed to be stealing with an A. Uh, stealing someone's date. Um, well, um, let's say that the way that you tell this reaction is that there's a free element on each side of the equation. Notice that there's a single circle on both sides of the reaction. If you see that, that tells you, ah, aha, single displacement reaction. How does this happen? Well, it depends on the type of substance it is. Um, this um, substance has to be more reactive than the yellow substance so it can take its place. And this is what happens. So to illustrate that, we can say, okay, my famous uh, stick figures. Uh, this is uh, Joey, okay, who is kind of um, puny, you know, not very uh, muscular uh, Joey. Uh, shows up to the dance with um, Diane. Okay, here's Diane. And um, she has a pretty little skirt, okay. and um, there's Diane, Diane with Joey, okay, Joey and Diana, okay, and here comes, um, what do we call him, um, Kirk, now let's call him Kirk, okay, here's Kirk, and Kirk is, whoa, he's very muscular, oh, big muscles, bigger than that, all right, big muscles, and he is a uh, very well-built, uh, very handsome fellow, always has a wonderful smile, okay, uh, and cool hair, okay, so here's, here's uh, Kirk. All right, so they show up to the dance, uh, and here's what happens. Well, when uh, Diana sees uh, Kirk, uh, she says, oh, this is, this is the guy for me, dumps Joey, and goes off, and... Um, now we have, well, save myself some trouble here. I'm going to draw uh, Diana. And there is, I could never draw him again the same way, but you get the idea. This is muscular uh, Kirk with uh, Diana. Okay. And uh, poor puny Joey is left out here all alone. Poor guy. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's what happens. So, um, here's Joey and Diana. And I should put the girl on the other side because that's the way it usually goes. But I kind of messed that one up. Uh, and um, um, no, I messed up this one. Okay. This is Kirk and Diana. And Kirk should be on the other side, uh, by the way. And then this is Joey all by himself. So it displaced displacement because Joey displaced, or Kirk displaced Joey. And here they are, the new couple. Uh, that's exactly how a um, displacement goes. Uh, so it's, you can also illustrate it as A um, plus BC yields AC plus B. Uh, we could illustrate it with a real reaction, iron plus Ag NO3 silver nitrate yields iron nitrate NO3 plus silver. I will do this reaction for you uh, tomorrow in class, and we will produce uh, silver. Uh, pretty cool stuff. This is a double displacement reaction, and uh, 
these reactions are characterized by the fact that these reactions are between two ionic compounds. So we've got an ionic compound here and an ionic compound here, and what happens is that they actually exchange partners. It's like square dancing. All right, you know how they goes. Change your partners to two to the left, two to the right. Uh, you know that. You know how that goes. So anyway, um, and notice that the um, green circle pairs up with the red circle, and the blue circle pairs up with the um, yellow circle. All right. So um, notice this is the pairing up right here, and the potassium pairs up with a nitrate and they exchange partners. All right, so basically what we're saying is that A, B plus C, D produce A, D plus C, B. And notice why I did it this way is because the positive ions always go first. So this, this was the positive, and this was the positive, and this is why they go first. So exchanging partners. Um, an example of that kind of reaction might be uh, something like this, which I can perform in class for you. Barium chloride plus sodium sulfate produces barium sulfate plus sodium chloride. And there you go, Ba, SO4, NaCl2. The final type of reaction are uh, combustion reactions. Uh, this is where a fuel plus oxygen produces carbon dioxide and water. They always produce carbon dioxide and water. And uh, what's a fuel? Well, usually it will contain carbon and hydrogen and um, or carbon or hydrogen and uh, possibly in combination and um, oxygen, uh, which is uh, needed for burning. And this, these reactions usually produce lots of energy. Combustion reactions are extremely useful. They produce energy, they produce heat. They are extremely useful in our lives. However, on January 28, 1986, a simple combustion reaction led to tragedy. The Challenger, the uh, space shuttle, broke apart only 73 seconds in, into its flight. These are the crew members of the uh, Space Shuttle Challenger. Uh, among the crew members were um, Krista McAuliffe. Uh, she was a teacher uh, who earned the, the honor of being the first uh, and actually the only teacher in space because the, the program um, did not um, continue. Four, three, two, one, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. So the 25th Space Shuttle mission is now on the way after four delays than NASA cares to count. This morning, it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. Looks like a couple of the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, blew away from the side of the shuttle in an explosion. Again, to repeat, uh, we have a report uh, relayed through the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. We are now looking at uh, all the contingency operations and awaiting uh, word from any recovery uh, forces in the downrange field. A sad moment in history.